Hello, David here, and the project for today is repairing a loose handle on a kitchen faucet. This is a comeback. I already repaired it twice, and I made a video about it. It's called Repairing a Loose Handle on a Vigo Kitchen Faucet. I don't know if it's pronounced Vigo or Vigo, V-I-G-O. But the customer service has been pretty horrendous from the company. Um, contacted me and they told me it would take 90 days for the, them to get the part from China and uh, I suppose they're rounding up some uh, slave laborers in China and that takes a while. Anyway, uh, I, well, first of all, my first repair was I uh, put the handle in and then I ran a screw through it to, to clench it and then I loctited it and that worked loose. And I got the bright idea of drilling a hole through the stem and tapping it and then running the screw through the hole in the handle and loctited that. And the uh, the metal was too thin and, and that broke off. So um, I was just going to leave it there and uh, wait for the part to come in. And then I thought, well, why can't I, uh, can I braise it? did a video not long ago on brazing aluminum. I'll put the links to those two videos up ahead. So uh, I thought first I need to experiment, so I found some brass. found these two pieces of brass casings and I sanded them, cleaned them with acetone, and then uh, I heated it up with the mat torch and tried to use the, uh, the aluminum brazing rod and that didn't stick. So I cleaned it again and I thought I wonder if I could use silver solder to fuse these together and I checked prices on silver solder and that's about fifty dollars a roll so I thought how about just plain solder. So I prepped the surface um, after cleaning it I put some um, flux on it. I have an acid flux I laid a strip of uh, solder in there and warmed it up with a propane torch and it flowed very well. Through capillary action it kind of flows through the pores of the, the brass and I couldn't get it apart. So it's a pretty good bond. So using that I thought, can I, can I try that with this? Can I turn this handle and I turned this handle around and put the outside end in there to get some more surface area and try to braise that. So let's see if I can run the screw out. That doesn't fit. I'm probably going to have to drill this out. Uh, it's good to see that there's a, a boss here that's uh, thicker than the, the wall of the cylinder. That'll give more surface area. I'm going to have to remove this handle because this is plastic and that's going to melt. I wonder if it's... It might be easier to uh, to drill for this. Uh, require a smaller hole. Well, let me clean that up and see what I could work out. I clean this up. It's making it about 0.27. I clean this up with a quarter inch drill bit. All right. Got a nice tight fit in there. The stem goes all the way down through the boss. And you don't want any looseness. Soldering cannot be used to fill voids. Degrease the parts with some acetone. Put some flux on the parts.
careful with this stuff, it's a strong acid. Yeah, that's a solder I'm going to use. I'm going to cut a piece off, wrap it around. Put a little piece on here. That's some heat with a propane torch. Whoa. I think it doesn't like to be upside down. Get another brick. It's cooled off some. I don't want to take any chances. I made up a mixture of baking soda and water just to neutralize the acid. Yeah, I got a little run of solder over there. Who knows, that might give it some strength. I can't twist it or pull it out. I hope this repair lasts this time, then I won't have to buy that $50 replacement handle. See if it could withstand the rigors of my family. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO. You're under my powers, hypnotizing you. Hit like and subscribe.